it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today to do another lock update video so as you guys know woo, this is the 11th month guys I cannot believe that we have already reached 11 months next month will be a whole year I still can't believe it I still can't get over it it's exciting to me yeah <laughs> I'm just really really excited about that but yes this is 11 months 11 months actually was on the 14th by the time you see this it will be a little bit after one whole um, 10 11 months but nonetheless I really wanted to get this video out to you all so updates anything different anything new concerning my hair well not really as you already know I am semi preforming my hair which means no retwisting um, as much and I'm pretty much just really doing the the bare minimum of what I need to do um, which is all that I really need to do my routine is the same if you did not see my fun routine video um, do check it out that was really really fun I talked about my for real get ready with me my for real summer day with locks and that pretty much consists of, of wetting my hair putting oil and leaving and <laughs> I will wash my hair of course um, when I feel like my hair is needing a wash. Right now, I don't exactly feel like my hair needs a wash. Um, my last wash, I think, that was about two weeks ago. Um, and you guys saw me on camera, uh, my last lock update video, I washed my hair with you all. But this week, I don't feel like it needs a wash. Um, a little update. So if you saw my last update, you know that I have been challenging myself to drink more water. More water, I've been drinking more, like lots of water. And guys, I really do feel a whole lot better inside that now that I've incorporated more water into my diet. So um, before I was taking in water, I felt more... Um, a lethargic waking up in the morning. I am not a morning person, um, but getting out of bed was a lot easier. I was able to wake up and really be present. I felt more nourished in my body. Um, my hair even felt more moisturized than before. Before I was dealing with a lot of dryness, a lot of dry scalp and flakiness in the scalp. But since I've drink, uh, since I've, I've taken more water. For the past, um, I, t I drunk lots of water, maybe half a gallon of water every day for about seven days. And my hair was, I mean, I would wet my hair, spray my hair in the morning. And throughout the day, I would feel like my hair is still moisturized. Like there's nothing that was taken away. It still feels moisturized. It still feels soft and, and manageable. Um, I have done a little research and while I said I will do a video on the benefits of you know, drinking more water, I will say that I heard, um, I heard <laughs> that um, when you don't get enough water, your body takes the water in whatever way that it can. Um, it starts to suck the organs dry and and then it then comes to your hair and takes all the moisture out of your hair in any way possible your hair your, your body is looking for ways to grab water and to nourish wherever needs to be nourished um, and one of the last things that your body would go in for is your hair <laughs> so um, when you're really really dehydrated and dry and you really need water you will see that the very last thing that happens is your hair is really dry and you can't understand how like you wet your hair in the morning and you put oils and all of this but at the end of the day it's still dry it's because you're not drinking enough water for me guys you already know i am not a water person naturally i don't like drinking a whole lot of water but now that it's summertime and it's really hot and I feel like I need to drink more water I have been drinking more but I have also put my mind to drinking more water and um, also taking vitamins and just eating more fresh uh, eating more smart I'm trying guys I'm trying I'm trying pray for me <laughs> but yes guys if you can if you can drink more 
water and those of you that have joined me on the water challenge from the last video let me know how you did down below and whether you have joined a water challenge at all in the past how did that work out for your hair for me it worked wonders my hair feels a whole lot better and moisturized inside I felt more revived like my blood was flowing and I felt more alert I was not drowsy and tired at the end of the day I felt energetic like even right now this is the end of a, a work day for me this is Monday and I should be just like putting on my pajamas and getting ready for bed but I feel energetic enough to record this video so drinking more water has great benefits like I said I'm going to do another video on this there's lots to talk about yeah so um, yes other than that my hair is still growing it feels a whole lot more full which makes me very happy it looks like it has a shape like it's gaining a shape whereas before when I had like kind of an awkward length going on in my hair um, it kind of like my hair was just doing different things and like falling in different ways now that it's grown a little bit I see that it is actually a adopting like a shape <laughs> and um, that makes me happy because it, it, it makes it a whole lot easier for me to just get up and go whereas before when my hair was more in the baby baby stage I felt like I had to kind of you know to slow my hair just a little bit more in order for it to look the way that I want it to look so it's it's a whole lot easier now um, especially now that I'm somewhat free forming like I can just get up spray my hair fling my hair <laughs> To the side side to side and go um hair styling if you did not see my hair styling video go check it out guys i had so much fun recording that too and the hairstyle that i've been doing um on and off is the one that i mentioned is my favorite hairstyle which was the um flat twist on the side half up <laughs> half up with the point with the bun and half down in the back and a little bit of bang happening in the front. One of my subscribers asked about my bangs. She asked if I would ever consider cutting my bangs. And the answer is I have not considered that actually. I, I don't exactly want that shape. I want my hair to grow all at the same length. Um, I don't exactly want bangs. I am embracing the long bangs. I like the long, messy bangs, even though it covers my eyes sometimes. I enjoy that. I like it. Um, me wearing my bangs like that is pretty much me kind of accepting my hair wherever and whatever state it is and kind of working with it. So as for now, I don't see myself cutting my bangs. Um, maybe, I, I mean, maybe I would consider doing that in the future, but as for right now, my uh, goal is to just grow my hair all without like cutting and stuff like that so yeah um, yeah so that's about it um, I'm enjoying my hair I need to do another ACV rinse though I do need to do another ACV rinse um, to clarify my hair and it's been a while since I've done that I think the last time I did an ACV rinse was maybe about two months ago and um, while it is like it is very healthy and beneficial you don't want to do it so often so I think about now is a good time to do it again um, so I think in the next video what I'm going to do is wash my hair with you guys <laughs> wash my hair with you guys and do the ACV rinse show you how to do it all over again hopefully this time I don't get myself drenched and like last time guys it was a struggle it was a struggle I had the pail on the floor I was laying on the floor my head on the floor and my back was hurting if you guys did the ACV rinse in a bowl you you know exactly what I'm talking about one of my subscribers said that she had like a back like she her back was hurting after that so I definitely want to look up a way that I can make this rinse a lot easier for myself and for you guys I don't want to show you a method that would cause your back to break so um, yeah guys don't don't like try to you know move around and see what works for you um, but I'm going to do the ACV and baking soda rinse 
in the next video and if you have any suggestions let me know let me know so I can do it if you have any questions it's concerning locks my locks your locks locks in general we have lock chat Q&A where I just sit here chill I come on camera and I address your questions straight from the comment box down below but anyways guys I think that's about it um, like I said my hair is moisturized there's no flaking no dandruff problems pretty much don't have much to say because of the amount of water I've been drinking it just enables me to really like just get up and go and not have to maintain and, and there's not much change in my hair it's growing more healthy now and I really do feel like my hair and my body feels so good. Um, yeah, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, anything. I love hearing from you all. And of course, let us know if you have any questions down below so I can address your question directly. Um, I also do my lifestyle vlog, so do check that out as well. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hello, subscribe. And yes, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.